The other Class A semi appeared to be a runaway between Troy and Gloversville. The Flying Horses had a dominant first half, led by 17 at the intermission. Zach Ratz scored 23. His backcourt mate, Dyer Holt, 11 points, 6 assists. But the Dragons would fight all the way back. Make a game of it, but Troy would hang on. This is Jack McLaren off the terrific hustle. The last Big Ten Conference team standing will play for the Class A crown on Saturday. Section 2's all-time leading scorer, Jimmer Fredette, now officially an ex-Sacramento King. This afternoon, the team announced it has mutually agreed to a contract buyout with the former lottery pick, who, by the way, currently leads the NBA in three-point shooting. The Bulls, Cavaliers, Grizzlies, and Knicks are said to be among the teams interested in either claiming Jimmer off of waivers or signing him as a free agent if he clears waivers this weekend. The New York State Wrestling Championships are back in Albany this year. Large crowds are once again expected at the Times Union Center, which today served as the world's largest wrestling room. Hundreds of athletes from all around New York have descended upon the Capital Region. Now, Section 2 has 44 qualifiers who will take to the mat tomorrow morning with hopes of walking away on Saturday night as state champs. With his eyesight now clear, Schenectady's Casper Wells made his Cubs debut, hoping 2014 will bring stability. From the Mariners to the Blue Jays to the A's to the White Sox to the Phillies last year, Wells is now a non-roster invitee of the Cubs. Wearing number 66, he entered today's game in the sixth inning, played right field, and he would strike out his only time up. Cubs lose the game 5-2. The Derek Jeter farewell tour began this afternoon in Tampa. As he and his Grapefruit League debut at Steinbrenner Field against the Bucks, the 39-year-old appears much more fluid this spring on a surgically repaired ankle than we last saw. The captain went 0 for 2 afterward. Jeter said, I feel like I haven't played a game in a couple of years. The Bucks beat the Bombers 8 to 2. And Brendan Harris, 1 for 1. He knocked in a run for the Dodgers. The Queensbury kid trying to get a roster spot out in L.A. That's it in sports. Greg and Dory, back to you.